The day has come. Hi and welcome back. I'm finally starting my live trading and in this you know subsection in this playlist I'll be uh, journaling every trade or I'll try to journal every trade I take. This is my first uh, pre-market analyzing uh, anal analysis on Sunday the 3rd of February. So I'm just gonna go into the content raw. I didn't look at the market, guys. I still didn't figure out how I'm gonna polish these videos. But as I would like to see raw material from other prop traders, I thought maybe this would be the best way. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are in front of myself I, as i said i have like six pairs in my portfolio which are usd cad aussie cad aussie dollar euro dollar pound dollar and pound yen my trading time frame is hour one so we'll go down to hour one and i will just go go through the my daily routine and my analysis okay so already here i can see that uh, we are in bearish trend. We are making, uh, let me bring this up, lows, new low, additional new low. This would be a flag pa pattern if you were to trade it. And currently there is nothing here for me because I'm not, I'm the only thing that I'm trading currently would be uh, harmo uh, our harmonic patterns. And the only one that I can see right there would be something like this right here. But, you know, the rules have to uh, to be met and we are far from those. I would need to see some kind of move like this and then additional additional move like like this, something to even consider having a pattern here. So I'll just skip this pair. There is nothing on it on USD CAD for me, at least for now. Okay, I'm just gonna skip it and we will see uh, tomorrow. Okay, here we are in the Aussie CAD. This is the uh so-called consolidation pair and here i can trade also ciphers but i'm not I'm, i still need to finish the ciphers back testing so currently i can try trade bad i think bad and guard please okay let me just check out my system because this is my live this is my first thing doing this live okay i still <laughs> that's that's a funny thing i'm still not sure uh, I know roughly what I can trade, but I all, all need to remind myself. Yeah, so on this one, I can only trade bad. So if I see Gartley, I won't be able to trade it because it's not in my system. And the only thing I can see here would be this right there. What, what do we have? This is uh, this would be Gartley because it touched 61%. and um, But it might not be. But who cares? I'm not trading Gartley's. I'm trading bad. This doesn't meet my rules. Let's see, this is from another video that I did. The, yeah, there is nothing here that I could, yeah, no. Nah. Yep, nothing here for me. Let's go on Aussie dollar. Whew, I see this, this, no, I think this is trending. Maybe this, maybe this would be a valid thing. No, no, far from it. Again, I won't be taking trades tomorrow morning on this on this here yeah maybe the now let, let's check this out what what we do nah, so here i would need a retracement until the 50 percent something like this then hit back up and down down here for a completion point but currently i see nothing here nothing nothing for me let's go to euro dollar uh-huh okay on euro dollar guys i can trade a bats and guard lease so there might be something forming here let's check it out if this is my x point all the way to here let's see so this would be a Gartley because it touched 61.8 percent now we need to see the dbc leg does the 61.8 percent from this leg so let's check this out okay it did, as you can see here, we touched it. Okay, so we might have a Gartley, which can complete at 27. This could be our completion point here. Okay, so let's bring our rectangle. This would be our entry point if we get it. Okay, 
I will I will adjust for the stop loss. Let me just mark my and this would be a completion point. And then if this is a completion point, my targets would be at what 38.2. Okay, this is it. Let's put it in transparent mode. Can I copy this? No, so I have to duplicate object. Good. And second target would be here. There we go. Let's let's make it a little bit darker. Actually, what is it? Okay, it's a different color. So my stop loss is the way that I backtested it is the Fibin version. Okay, so it's a technique that they, that I learned at Tier One Trading Company, and basically it's so one one three Fibin version from A to X point, which is right there. This would be my my risk, and then let's see what we make. We we are risking 22 pips for its potential award of 36 pips on target one, and uh, well, how much up? 62. So this is a nice risk to reward. Let me let me just uh, do this as well for you guys so that you can see what I'll be trading if this happens. Uh, we'll we'll mark it in blue, nice blue color, blue color. So let's do this even more transparent. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do another triangle. This would be this would be my first bet pattern while journaling it live on YouTube, and we will see how will it go, what will happen. If tomorrow morning when I wake up, uh, I I get all of my rules here, and then if if the market meets all of my rules, I'll be trading this and making my uh, placing my orders tomorrow morning because it's far from completion yet. It can complete in a set in the uh, uh what is it Asia session. While I'm not trading in the Asia session, I can only enter at six uh a.m. in the morning GMT time zone and we are far from it yet now let's move for a two pound dollar okay on pound dollar I can trade bats but I cannot trade Gartley's so let's see this uh, yeah there is a Gartley here there would be a Gartley let's just check it out give me a sec Need to see something guardly yeah I'm not I'm not even yeah I'm not gonna trade guardly's on pound dollar but this might be a guardly for somebody this is X point this is X to A A to B B to C point and then yeah but it touched 78.6 which it shouldn't touch guardly should not touch the 78.6 ha <sighs> And then this wouldn't be a Gartley for people. Yeah, so this is not Gartley. This is actually nothing. Maybe you can see something else. Uh, but I don't see maybe something if I get, let's see this thing here. Okay, let's see this. This would be my X point for a potential bet if this happens. Okay, here we might have something. Let's just double check. Did I put this? Yes, on a Wix. So yeah. Now, if this candle or this candle touch the three one one point three one zero one seven, then we are good. Then this would be a bath for me. You gotta check your data. A high is no. We didn't touch it, and we didn't touch it. So this didn't touch my X to A A to B. I don't have a valid B leg. So currently, unless the price goes up and then down, I have nothing here as well. Let's move forward to pound yen, and uh, I can trade bats and guardlies here, but I can only trade it from one, uh, one in the morning, uh, from six in the morning until one p.m. And yeah, I don't see, I don't see anything here. 
yeah guys i don't see anything here i can trade on pound yen i can trade the guard list from six in the morning like every every other pair but bats i can only trade from six in the morning until 1 p.m and i don't see anything here that might you know yeah prowl this would be my x point a point b point x a b but yeah we need to match a few other things first before i even consider placing my trades up uh yeah so that's it we will see what happens in the morning this is my pre-market analysis in the morning i will see how we, we will start my first live trading week yeah i'll be journaling everything thanks for sticking until the end of this video this might be boring but it's raw raw data this is what it is to be done each and every day i can see here that aussie dollar is on our four but even if we switch it on our one there there is nothing here for me yeah with that being said thank you very much again for watching this video it took me only 10 minutes sometimes markets are boring like they are right now it's very slow at least for me it will be because i can from my six pairs and from anything i have only one potential trade on euro dollar and i would be happy to see it you know hitting hitting my pending orders in the morning and then hitting my targets because it will be my first trade where uh, which i journaled and pro could would be cool to have a first winner i'm gonna upload this video right now but in the morning i'll do another pre-market analysis while market will move and then i'll try to combine those videos in one daily video what i saw in the morning what what did i took at the end of the day and what how did they end up what trades i'm still in what did i took some profits off of some trades or did i did the market hit some of my stop losses bear with me uh those videos will not be prepared it's just raw data like you know raw material of me jumping in front of the charts doing this every single day and trying to become a consistently profitable trader with that being said consider subscribing if you're new here hit that subscribe button smash that bell button smash that like button leave some comments and talk to you soon bye bye